Today, I'm going to be playing WWE 2K20, but I can only draft wrestlers to my universe mode roster if they are related by blood or law. I already know there's going to be some people that are going to say, oh, these two aren't related. They're married. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free and you can always change your mind later. We're on the road to 400,000 subscribers. Become a Spartan today. Now let's get into the draft. All right. So the first person I'm going to be drafting is the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. And I think you guys know where this is going. Next up, I'm going to get The Rock. Then I want main event Jay Uso, which means I'm also going to get Jimmy Uso, which also means I'm going to get Naomi since Naomi and Jimmy are married and I don't really want to do this but I want at least 30 people on the roster and I don't want Tamina so I'm getting Nia Jax <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for the Samoan dynasty. Then next, just to switch it up and make it a bit interesting. Give me Mr. McMahon. Then I want my boy Shane O'Mac. I kind of want, I don't know if I want long hair Triple H. I'll go, I'll go short hair Triple H. We'll go with current day. And you already know what I got to do. <laughs> Give me Stephanie. <laughs> this could be really interesting. So next up, I want Rey Mysterio. And then I want Dominic Mysterio. I want Seth Rollins. And then I'm going to take Becky Lynch. But if we're going to get Becky, then I'm going to need Charlotte, which means I need Rick. And you know what? I want the long hair, Rick Flair. Now I'm going to take the Fiend Bray Wyatt. And even though he's not in WWE anymore, he just got released. I'm taking Bo Dallas. And since we're already at the B's, I'll take Bret Hart. And then, of course, I'll get Natalia. And since he is right here, I'm going to go ahead and take Montez Ford. Board, and then we're going to go all the way to the B's and get Bianca Belair. I had to get a call for this one. So give me Angel Garza. And then I'm going to take his cousin, Humberto Carrillo. I want the A-lister. And then I want Maurice. <laughs> and since we're going back to back with married couples here, let's go ahead and get Bree and let's get Daniel. And last but not least, Keith Lee and Mia Yim. So now we got 30 people on this roster. Let's go ahead and put the divisions together and see what's going down. I'm going to get rid of the tag team championships because I don't want any tag teams in this universe mode. Who's going to be my women's champion? I have a decent amount of women in this universe mode. I, you know what? I'm going to give it to Becky. She hasn't been in WWE for a minute. I miss Becky. Now we need an intercontinental champion. And I want it to be Jey Uso. And then for the universal championship. Oh, you know, let's make it interesting. Let's just put it on Vince McMahon. He's on a power trip or something. <laughs> all right, so here are the divisions. Of course, we got all the women we drafted in the women's title picture, of course. Then for the IC title, we got the Miz, Keith Lee, Montez Ford, Jimmy Uso, Bo Dallas, Dominic, Angel Garza, Bret Hart, and Humberto Carrillo. And for the main event, we got Roman, Seth, Daniel, Ray, The Rock, Triple H, Shane McMahon, Ric Flair, and The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Now let's start simulating. I am a bit curious to see what this first SmackDown would look like. Becky Lynch versus Mia Yim, Mr. McMahon versus Ric Flair, Montez versus The Miz, Roman versus Daniel Bryan, how fitting, <laughs> Rollins versus Mysterio, how fitting, and then the Usos are still going to be teaming up. Curtis Axel, you, you're not even drafted, bro. You know what? I think I know what I got to do. The Usos have been disbanded. Anyways, let's go ahead and simulate the money in the bank. Let's see what's going down. Roman Reigns versus Mr. McMahon for the Universal Championship to open the show. My goodness. Mia Yim versus Bianca. Maurice versus Stephanie. What what kind of matches we got going on? This is That's pretty interesting, honestly. Charlotte versus Nia Jax. The Miz and Jay for the IC title. Okay. This hey, this card ain't too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and simulate. Mr. McMahon retained. He beat Roman. No way. Bianca wins. Stephanie wins. Montez gets his win over Bo Dallas. Not surprising at all. Naomi beats Brie Bella. Uh, Dominic pins uh, Jimmy. Oh, never mind. It was a steel cage match. Never mind. Keith Lee lost to Angel Garza. Charlotte defeats Nia Jax. The Miz cannot get the Intercontinental Championship from Jey Uso, and neither can Natalya. And Seth Rollins won the eight-man ladder match that wasn't for the Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, we're just going to hit it with that simple fix then. There we go. Seth Rollins is now Mr. Money in the Bank. There is no pay-per-view in June, so we're moving on to Extreme Rules. What's going to be on the card? I wonder if any championships switch hands by this point. Okay, so Jey Uso is still the IC champion. Uh, Mr. McMahon is still the Universal Champion. And Seth Rollins is Mr. Money in the Bank. He easily got in there. Okay, Shane versus The Fiend. Shane would definitely jump off of something. Uh, Rey Mysterio versus Triple H. Daniel Bryan versus The Rock. Ric Flair and Roman. Charlotte and Becky. Oh my goodness. Jey Uso retains the Intercontinental Championship. Seth Rollins is Mr. Money in the Bank and the Universal Champion. This man got an insurance policy. Of course, The Fiend wins. Jimmy wins. Uh, Bret Hart defeats Montez Ford. Triple H, the game, takes the win. Daniel Bryan defeats the rock that's a big win for him roman reigns is victorious and becky is still the women's champion this man is really holding double 
that's insane now it is time for SummerSlam. these two are still going at it and jay uso retains the intercontinental championship then the fiend defeats shane again stephanie mcmahon beats maurice that's different <laughs> keith lee defeats Bo Dallas. uh naomi takes an l to brie uh bianca takes an l to mia which is kind of surprising montez was able to defeat angel uh ray mysterio takes another l to triple h that's what you hate to see the rock defeats mr mcmahon no surprise there bret hart defeats jimmy uso daniel bryan takes an l to seth rollins that wasn't a universal championship match for whatever reason roman again beats rick flair and becky is still the women's champion my goodness becky is going ham you know, I'm a little bit surprised we haven't seen any like family rivalries yet. No one has faced each other. Okay, we got Ric Flair versus Triple H, and Ric Flair gets the win. The Fiend gets another win over Shane McMahon. Shane, you're done, bro. Just stop facing the Fiend. It's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Maurice beats uh, Bianca. The Miz, I almost called him the Fiend. The Miz beats Jimmy Uso. The Rock beats uh, Mr. McMahon again. Jay is the new intercontinental champion i think he may have lost it but regardless jay uso walks out of hell in a cell with the championship charlotte flair beats becky lynch becky finally dropped that title seth rollins is still the universal champion and then Rey mysterio and daniel bryan had a hell in a cell match to finish up the show and daniel bryan wins we love to see it i am a bit curious though to see if jay even dropped the title oh no jay never even dropped the title okay he's held it for 145 days already okay so will jay be able to retain his championship and he does angel garza cannot beat this man for the title natalia lost to charlotte thank god <laughs> bianca beats maurice the fiend loses to mr mcmahon really vince you gotta book that one the miz beats jimmy uso montez loses to bret hart how many times have they faced now anyways uh roman reigns loses to shane mcmahon which is unique <laughs> Rey mysterio wins over the rock seth rollins is still the universal champion oh snap i didn't even i didn't even think about them two facing each other evolution is really no more i guess and we're gonna open the show with a women's championship match charlotte flair versus becky lynch and charlotte walks out of survivor series with the title bret hart wins over humberto carrillo that's a cool match i guess <laughs> very different styles team shane o'mac gets the win over team fiend Oh, oh, and we had some relatives on the same team. The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Bo Dallas were on the same team. Of course, they're brothers, but that's the only relative team we had going on so far. Jey Uso is still the Intercontinental Champion. Bro, he might hold it all the way through. The Miz beats Jimmy. Uh, Rey Mysterio loses to Triple H. Seth Rollins is still the Universal Champion. The Rock beats Ric Flair. And Team Brie Bella defeats team bianca belair i don't think we have any relative relationships going on here nope i just realized i could have drafted nikki bella if i wanted to how did i not draft nikki you know what why not let's add her in i know i only said i wanted 30 but she is literally twin sisters with brie i don't know how i missed that <laughs> to open the show it's Rey Mysterio and The Rock in a tables match and The Rock wins Mia Yim had an opportunity against Charlotte Flair but she comes up short Keith Lee wins his match against Bo Dallas Natalia defeats Stephanie McMahon Naomi loses to Brie Bella oh and will you look at that we finally got them two to team up or be in some way shape or form together Montez and Bianca unfortunately still took an L to Bret Hart and Maurice but I'm just happy to see that they were together Jimmy Uso loses to Angel Garza. Becky Lynch loses to Nia Jax. Seth Rollins retains the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns defeats The Fiend. Triple H again is victorious over Ric Flair. Bro, just end this rivalry. And Jay Uso is still the Intercontinental Champion. The main event, Jay Uso going hard. We're at the Royal Rumble pay per view. Oh, hold up. Hold up. I didn't know this was happening. Okay. Okay. Hold okay. I'm getting, I'm getting off track. Ric Flair versus Triple H in the opening match. Who is going to win? Ric Flair is victorious. I really want to watch this. Jimmy Uso versus Jay Uso for the Intercontinental Championship. Let's watch. We got brother versus brother in this Intercontinental Championship match. I was hoping that this was going to happen eventually. And I'm so glad it happened at the Rumble. But I believe this is Jay Uso in control right now. Oh, but Jimmy going to slap his brother like that. Oh, and a super kick. But that got the ref down. This match is already off to a hot start. <laughs> Who you guys got? I don't know. 
this this is Jimmy Uso. He, he if anybody knows Jay, it's Jimmy. So I don't know that Jay is in trouble right now. He in a submission hole too. Oh wait, oh, oh, oh jawbreaker. I don't know. I got. I think I'm gonna stick with Jay Uso on this one. He has not dropped the title since. I gave it to him. <laughs> so I don't know. I got faith in Jay. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to keep up. I'm definitely going to mix up their names at some point. Jay is either going to get a second win out of nowhere and come back. Or he's going to take a fat L to Jimmy. Oh, there we go. Jay finally taking off the cobwebs of some sort. Oh, never mind. All right. <laughs> oh, wait. Finally, Jay gets a reversal. Big elbow. Now he's going to take him right back down. Oh. And he's going to roll out. That was smart from Jimmy. That was real smart. Jay not letting him get any separation, though. Missed the kick. Oh, forearm to the face. Oh, but a submission hold is being locked in. Is Jay going to be forced to tap? He is so close to the ropes, too. That'd actually be crazy if he tapped right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Jay is going to fight out. I almost called him Jimmy. What is happening right now? Super kick missed. Jay going to take advantage, and he drops his brother. Hit them ropes. What's about to go to? Oh, they bump into each other. They were thinking the same thing. Oh, super kick finally lands and that was the finisher too but jimmy's not done he's not done he's going up to the top rope oh and an elbow drop bro you could have you could have went for the cover if you're gonna do that i thought you were going for a uso splash or something oh oh i think jay was looking for that finisher bro i saw his stamina deplete he was looking for a super kick he was about to wrap this match up jimmy's going up top I believe he has a finisher from there. Oh, he tried to use it. Jay got out of the way. Sleeper hold from Jimmy. Is Jay going to tap? His health is really low. His head is orange. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going to get out of it. Oh, on his shoulders. Hold up. Now, this is a true Samoan drop right here. <laughs> There's no way that's going to put Jimmy away. This man been kicking out of one. I, boy, that one got me. I, that was a falsy and a half. I thought he was about to put that match away with a Samoan drop. Oh, we're about to have a flying Uso in a minute from the top rope. Jay finally hits a finisher. And is that it? Will he retain the Intercontinental Championship? Oh, Jimmy kicks out. Okay, this, this match has been banging, bro. Jay going up to the top rope. Oh, knees got up. The knees got up. And we had a weird little glitch happen, but... It's fine, I guess. And this time, Jimmy is going to give a Samoan drop to Jay. If this was a real match, this is four out of five so far. Oh, super kick. That might be it. Bro, just cover him. You could have won this match. I don't understand. Jay Uso about to lock in this signature, and he is right between Jimmy and the ropes. Bro, that signature is wrenched in. There's no way, Jimmy. It, yeah, I was about to say, he's tapping. There's no way. Jay Uso successfully retains the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, we got a cutscene too? We usually don't get cutscenes when we do these. What's about to happen? Jay retains the title. Jimmy doesn't look too happy about it. Please tell me we're going to get a... I want a rivalry out of this. Is he going to just shake his hand? Does, is he going to accept it? Oh, he hit him with a right. Bro, that's your brother. Come on, dude. Even Jay is like, come on, dude. That was a crazy match and a crazy finish. But next up, we got Montez Ford going one-on-one -on -one with Bret Hart. And Montez gets the win. Becky versus Charlotte. And Charlotte Flair retains. Miz versus Angel Garza. And Angel Garza wins. Rey Mysterio versus The Rock. And Rey Mysterio wins, surprisingly. Roman Reigns versus The Fiend. I got The Fiend. Oh, Roman won the match. Sorry. Then we got Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins. They're going to go at it again. And Seth Rollins retains. Who is going to win the Royal Rumble? Oh, The Fiend won the Royal Rumble. I'm still shocked about getting a cutscene. We never get cutscenes when we do these universe sims. I'm kind of surprised. And they're going to go at it again. Jimmy versus Jay. Who's winning? And Jay Uso retains the Intercontinental Championship. Jay is a beast, bro. Then Montez beats The Miz. Uh, Keith Lee takes an L to Dominic. That's a big win for Dominic. Uh, the Rock wins in this Elimination Chamber match with nothing on the line. <laughs> Angel Garza beats Bret Hart. Big win. Seth Rollins retains the Universal Championship. And Char... Oh, Nia Jax is the new women's champion? Okay, she wins in the Elimination Chamber match. You know, at least it wasn't Natalia. <laughs> Seth Rollins has held the Universal Championship 
for 198 days. That's impressive. And he's still Mr. Money in the Bank. Jay Uso has held the Intercontinental Championship for 266 days. Can he hold it for a year? We are now at Fastlane and Jay Uso will be main event in the show. Uh, but regardless, Bret Hart defeats Angel Garza. Triple H beats Mr. McMahon. I've been waiting for that one, low-key. Either Triple H or Shane. I was waiting for some type of McMahon feud. Bo Dallas wins against Keith Lee. That's a big win. Nia Jax retains her championship. Bianca loses to Becky Lynch. That ain't nothing to be upset about. Montez Ford loses to The Miz. Rey Mysterio beats The Rock. Roman Reigns loses to Ric Flair. Daniel Bryan finally beat Seth Rollins. Daniel is the new Universal Champion, but hey, Seth Rollins is still Mr. Money in the Bank. He can come out of nowhere with that. And Jey Uso is still the Intercontinental Champion. He beat his brother yet again. Let us see what is on this card. Shane McMahon versus Seth Rollins. Roman versus Mr. McMahon. Keith Lee versus Bo Dallas. Natalia versus Maurice. Brie versus Naomi. Mia versus Bianca. We got a lot of women's matches. Uh, Montez Ford versus Jimmy Uso. I don't know why I said his name like that. Ric Flair versus Triple H. Angel versus The Miz. The Fiend and Daniel Bryan for the Universal Championship. Rey Mysterio versus The Rock. Jay versus Bret Hart for the IC title? That could be a banger. That could be a banger. And then we got a triple threat match to end the show. All right, who's winning between Shane and Seth? Oh, Shane beat Seth? I wasn't expecting that. I'm not even gonna cap. Roman versus Mr. McMahon and Roman Reigns gets the win. Of course, he's going over at Mania, brother. Uh, Keith Lee versus Bo Dallas and Keith Lee wins. Natalia versus Maurice and Maurice gets the win. Uh, Brie Bella versus Naomi and Naomi wins. Yay, we love to see that. Mia versus Bianca. I got Bianca and she does win. Angelo, or not Angelo, <laughs> Montez versus Jimmy. I'm gonna go with Montez on that one. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, Triple H versus uh, Ric Flair. I'm gonna go with Triple H. Oh, Ric Flair wins. Angel versus The Miz. I have no clue. <laughs> the Miz wins. We got The Fiend Bray Wyatt going against Daniel Bryan for the Universal Championship. You know damn well we watching that match. There is absolutely no way in hell that Daniel Bryan wins this match. Like, The Fiend is definitely walking out of this match with the Universal Championship. Wait, is this a... Is this a squash match? Daniel Bryan already has his signature on The Fiend? Bro, I'm shocked. I am shocked right now. That even put The Fiend down. Into the corner, The Fiend is still gonna fight, bro. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of cool. Even though it is a squash match in a way, it's almost not being treated as such because it's still The Fiend and he is OP. It almost just makes it seem like Daniel Bryan is coming out of the gate hot hot with like a signature or a finisher trying to put the fiend away i don't know i'm just trying to make sense out of it it's kind of cool though <laughs> the ropes now daniel in trouble oh what a headbutt from the fiend my goodness he's not even really doing wrestling moves he is fighting daniel bryan right now he even has a signature and he can't stop the fiend counter from daniel kicks to the legs it's not gonna do much daniel you do have that finisher and he's about to use it hold up that leg lock is in is the fiend gonna be forced to tap here the fiend is hanging on for dear life oh daniel let him go that was stupid oh wait we got a pump handle situation oh daniel bryan gets flattened daniel's back in this thing oh that was a nice snap suplex not even gonna lie cover is that gonna be it for the fiend no it is not the fiend now has his signature oh and he hopped right on his feet and another snap suplex from daniel bryan Oh, Fiend blocked the leg kick. Oh, and he takes down Daniel Bryan. But I think Bray Wyatt has a sister Abigail ready to go for Daniel Bryan. Oh, no, not a sister Abigail, a manable claw. But Daniel fights out immediately. Shout out to that resiliency. Daniel Bryan is locking in the yes lock. Is that gonna be it? Oh, oh, the Fiend is crawling. Oh, the Fiend just tapped. No way, bro. Daniel Bryan is still the Universal Champion. Daniel, when the match started, I doubted you, brother. And you know, you facing The Fiend. I thought The Fiend was going to win. Easy dub, but I guess not. Daniel made him tap, too. That's that's dope. Well, congratulations to Daniel Bryan. He deserves it. Next up, we got Rey Mysterio versus The Rock. And The Rock beats Rey Mysterio. Now, Jay, I'm rooting for you, bro. And look, just so y'all know, I'm not capping. This is square right here. I'm about to press it. Oh, thank God, Jey Uso retains the Intercontinental Championship. I want him to hold it for a year. Then we got Becky, Charlotte, and Nia. Who's walking out? Becky Lynch walks out of WrestleMania 
with the SmackDown Women's Championship. So Jey Uso has held the Intercontinental Championship for 336 days. I'm gonna simulate to the next pay-per-view to see if he'll be able to keep it for a year. All right, so we got Jey versus Bret Hart yet again. No, Bret Hart beat him? Bro, this would have been the last match Jay needed to win to hold it for a year. And Bret Hart just took it away from him. You hate to see it. To end this universe mode, we got Daniel Bryan as the universal champion. We got Bret Hart as the IC champion. Becky as the, uh, as the women's champion. And Ric Flair as the new Mr. Money in the Bank. Okay. If you guys did enjoy this universe mode video, remember to drop a like. Let's see if we can get 6,000 likes in the first 24 hours. Can we do it? I don't know. Can we do it? I don't know. Click one of these two videos on screen if you want to keep watching the videos. I have a whole WWE 2K20 simulation playlist that you can watch right there, or you can watch something completely different right there. Deuces. Sleeping on me at my feet is where you lay. And take your head down on your knees like you pray. It's cool. I continue to kick push like Lupe. But if you ain't grinding with me now.